Hasaan, a beautiful town in the province of Misamis Oriental. The place is located 32 kilometers away from Cagayan de Oro City. It is well known for its crystal clear pools and refreshing resorts, making it the summer capital of Misamis Oriental. But Hasaan has more to offer, no less than its spectacular buildings with different architectural designs. In this documentary, we will explore Hasaan Buildings' architectural designs. Hamtos Residence, a two million unfinished house owned by a two architecture literate couple, Mr. Bertram Hamto and Celeste Hamto. Their house is inspired by modern architecture that is characterized by the following. Sliding glass doors. Glass windows with bold frame lines. Simple interior design abolishing the unnecessary details. Use of modern material like stainless steel and typical box-shaped structure and flat roof. A modern design really captures the essence of what is beauty. Also, you'll notice about this house that it has a lot of windows. Hazaan Municipal Hall, a 25 million government structure that shows different architectural designs mixed to create a magnificent building. It has a sting of Victorian architecture, a pinch of Romanesque architecture, and dominated by modern architecture. It has a Victorian portico or a porch with a roof before the entrance of the building. The municipal hall also have Romanesque round arches that can be seen in the porticus posts. Lastly, the building is dominated by modern architecture that is shown in the hall's bold lines and flat roof. Use of modern materials like glasses and stainless steel. And materials are shown in natural form and are showcased. The municipal hall of Asaan shows us the art of combining different architectural designs to make beautiful and remarkable one. I hope many people will appreciate this kind of architectures. An architect may do a unique and own architectural design. Zayas Residence, a 14 million house owned by Miss Purisima Zayas. It is made according to modern architectural design and this is characterized by the following. Materials are shown in natural form and are showcased like these stones. Glass windows with white, bold horizontal and vertical lines. Use of modern materials like stainless steel and metal. Open interior space showing directly the kitchen upon entering the house. Glass windows for the purpose of sunlight penetration. These are the other parts of the house. The master's bedroom enjoying the overlooking view of the sea. The topmost floor of the house also offers an overlooking view of the sea.
paintings, decorations, and furnitures imported from Australia. Rack made of kangaroo skin. The house also have an automated garage. Lastly, an essential part of the house, the altar. After examining the modern house of Zaya Sicilians, I found out that modern houses are simple, but it's really beautiful. When I pass by this type of modern house, I can say to myself, I wish I could have this kind of house someday. Iglesia de Nuestra Señora de la Immaculada Concepción Hasaan is a century-old church. It is declared by National Museum as one of the national treasures in Mindanao. It is inspired by different architectural designs, but generally, it is a Baroque church as also declared by the National Commission for Culture and Arts. The church's structure is mostly made of clay bricks and tugas. The main characteristic of Baroque architecture is beautiful decorations and ornaments. The church is facade with wood designs and Marian symbol. The bell tower also has vertical wood lines and a diamond-shaped lines attached to the stained glass. The old door of the church, made of tugas, is carved with flower-like design inspired of its hardness. The church's floor is designed with diamond patterns that illusionally moves when you walk on it, which is another characteristic of a Baroque architecture. The church's altar has undergone a lot of revisions from the beginning, but it still retained the retablo at the back of it. The retablo is inspired by Gothic architecture which can be seen in its structure that is seemingly high and seems to portray heaven with its blue sky-like background. The priest's century-old chairs are also ornamented with wood carvings. A copy of the prodigal son painting by a Baroque artist in the person of Rembrandt is shown inside the church. The Centennial Church has also Romanesque arches. The ceiling is inspired by Baroque architecture, courtesy of its designs which is practically difficult to make. Climbing up the first ladder, the choir loft offers an overlooking view of the church's aisles and altar. From there, we can also closely see the beautiful ceiling wood decorations. The second and third ladders would lead us to the top of the bell tower where the century-old bell is located. It bears the Spanish words, Immaculada Concepcion del Pueblo de Hasaan. From the bell tower, we can see that the church's general structure is cruciform which is common in many Catholic churches and cathedrals. The Catholic Church of Hasaan is indeed a priceless treasure in northern Mindanao. This magnificent church of Hasaan reveals a historical account of its place. This is known by its own designs and materials. But what is 